Long, tall, and thin. It's what we all want, right? Actually, no. Not in our plants, and especially not in our seedlings. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome back to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we like you just the way you are. But like all garden quickies, it's not about us. It's about the plants. And today specifically, seedlings. Tall and weak seedlings are a common problem every year. Don't stress though, I got three ways to fix it, time short as it always is, so let's dive in. First and foremost, our young plants reach and stretch for the light from the moment they sprout. The determination is admirable, but the outcome is not always desired. Long leggy seedlings are often weak, top heavy, prone to bending or even breaking, and generally underperform their stocky counterparts. Okay, so how do we prevent this? Well, seedlings become long and leggy almost always as a response to insufficient light. Either the wrong wavelength, not enough intensity, or both. So, right from the start, day one of germination, ensure 12 to 16 hours of good quality full spectrum light per day. Although there's no substitute for the right light, there are a couple other things that we can do to prevent long leggy seedlings. And the first of those is air circulation. When plants are outside, no matter what their ages are, they're constantly being bombarded by air motion, even on completely calm days. And it's this air motion that triggers the plants to grow more roots for anchoring and thicker, stronger stems for support. Inside, it's an easy fix and a simple oscillating fan on low for a few hours a day is enough to accomplish the desired effect. And finally, the third way to prevent extreme legginess in our seedlings is to decrease the temperatures as soon as possible. Likely, we've had the heat jacked for germination, as most seeds sprout best above 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, in just two to three days after germination, we can crank down the heat and slow down the long tissue growth of the stems, allowing the extra light and the air motion to work their magic. Know what else will allow you to work your magic? Checking out the next episode of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.